morning, South Avenue. We made it to Friday again. All right, and it's a three-day weekend, so there's that, too. Today is the 22nd of May, 2020. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Anybody know? What's for <laughs> lunch? lunch? For lunch, don't forget, no lunch pickup on Monday because of the holiday. There is lunch pickup on Tuesday at South Avenue in the high school. I believe there are also groceries available. So uh, those will be happening on Tuesday. The weather, it's looking lovely today uh, again, but uh, hopefully I'll, we'll get a little bit of rain this evening and into tomorrow. Hey, it's Friday, you know what that means? It's funny Friday time. My mom's a big fan. Hi, mom. Hi, all it is time for Funny Fridays with Mrs. Cahill. So there are generations of Cahills who are Yankee fans. So in honor of that, I'm going to read you some baseball jokes. How long did the baseball player spend in the library? Five minutes, it was a short stop. How do baseball players keep in communication? They touch base once in a while. Which baseball player loved fireplaces? Mickey Mantle, the Mick, number seven. <laughs> Charge! Have a great day, South Ave. It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. There's a cat licking your birthday cake. It's your birthday today. It Birthdays. Tomorrow is the 23rd, and it's England Mitchell's birthday. And... Uh, on the 25th, it's Jazeer Smith's birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, so I wonder what's happening. You know, I like to wonder. And I wonder what's happening in the garden. Springtime, what would you guys normally be doing in the garden? Probably planting some stuff, right? That's what I'm thinking. I wonder if Miss Megan is trying to do some of that for you so that in the fall when it's time to harvest there'll be something to harvest do you remember harvesting some of the stuff from the garden i got i have a little uh flashback to last year the the corn was so cool i was fascinated by the corn that you guys took off the the corn and then the um you popped it later and had popcorn it was so cool Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with us tonight is one of the good guys of contemporary music, Mr. John Denver. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this scarf grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Pulling weeds and picking stones, man is made of dreams. Feel the need to grow my own Cause the time is close at hand Rain for rain, sun and rain Find my way in nature's dream Tune my body and my okay, brain and To the music phenomenon. of the land we look, we look around, we see things that are interesting to us And we wonder about them And maybe we find out answers Or we create experiments to try and answer the questions that we have Here's a phenomenon for you. On the rail trail, oh, Mr. Burke, come on, not the rail trail again. What, do you live on that thing? Kinda. But anyway, on the rail trail, in a different direction, there is a spring that comes up 
right on the side of the trail. Not a spring like, you know, you put on your feet and you bounce around, but uh, a spring like water coming up from the ground. And if you really think about it, wow, like how does that happen? Like down under layers of rock, there's a layer with water in it, and there's a, maybe a crack, and the pressure pushes the water right up out of the, the ground. And I run by this thing all the time, and once in a while, it stops flowing. It gets plugged up. And sometimes there's lots of like very fine like clay that has come out. So I imagine down under the ground that like there's like a little river and sometimes some stuff gets stirred up and it gets pushed up and it clogs the spring up. And then after a while, it, it releases again and the water flows again. You know, back in the old days, if I was looking for a place to, to build a house, I might see that spring and say, oh, I'm going to build my house right here. It's a good source of water. But then what if it just stopped? <sighs> that wouldn't be good. Okay, so, you know, I'd like to do little silly skits on the news sometimes, but sometimes they don't work out or whatever, and I, so I've had this one sitting on my desktop for a while, uh, waiting for me to do something with it, because it wasn't finished, and I don't have much space on my computer, and I got to get rid of it, but I didn't want to just throw it all out, so I'm going to put it on, just imagine, here's the setup. Uh, I have three dogs, and two of the dogs like to bark at the stuff on the street, right? If a dog walks by or a truck or certain things, they just, they gotta bark. And the, the younger dog, she doesn't, um, she doesn't bark at the same things. She likes to bark at the lawnmower. And so I always imagine them like having a meeting, right? Like, you know, trying to straighten her out. Like, why are you barking at the lawnmower? You gotta bark at these other things. They're trying to like train her. So I started to film a, a little... See, there you go. They're, they're barking. There's a dog walking down the street. So they, they are very interested, and Juno, she's not. So anyway, uh, I tried to shoot this little silly scene, and I didn't finish. And I'm going to put it on here anyway just for the, for the fun of it. Um, but you got to understand that some, little, some of the parts are missing. Um, but you get the idea doesn't all work out. You know what I mean? Sometimes we fail, we uh, doesn't work out, we learn from our mistakes. Hopefully. Okay, we're gonna get started gabbling in this meeting, the March meeting of Doth, Dogs of the Household. Uh, let's see, we'll do roll call first. Skunk, present. Okay, uh, we are here today um, to discuss uh, some of the threats to the household. And um, Juno, uh, Tulip and I have, have been discussing, we're a little concerned about your priorities. Our job as dogs of the household is to protect the helpless humans that live here. They are completely incapable of defending themselves, and so it falls to us. We're very concerned. The people are helpless. And um, you do not seem to have very clear priorities in terms of these threats. So on the agenda, we're going to be going through uh, some of the things that we would like you to take a little more seriously. I am not going to continue until the lawnmower is put on the agenda. That is thing is a menace, and you guys need to realize that that is what you should be barking at instead of all the silly things you bark at. There are some real threats out there. Trucks, people, dogs, and you're worried about the lawnmower. Oh, not the lawnmower again. The lawnmower is not an issue. You are just concerned about what it does to your tennis balls. You have a problem with the tennis balls. 
No, I'm not going to continue. Your thing with tennis balls is weird. We will not be adding the lawnmower to the agenda. I am not going to continue until the lawnmower is put on the agenda. All right, listen, we'll, we'll, add, we'll add it to the agenda. Okay, now, can we proceed? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what did you write on there? The first... What does that say? Juno eats... But I do not... That... Lots of dogs do that. That's... That doesn't matter. That is not on the agenda. I'm going to do it myself. How do you spell lawnmower? P, P, O, O, O. Wait a minute. That is not funny. I can't. Here's what I think about your stupid agenda. Oh, ball, ball, ball. Look out, look out, look out. What? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Before you guys did. Huh? I got the ball. Okay, can we just uh, try and get back to business here? The first thing is, let's talk about some of the real threats to this house. First and foremost, large trucks driving by the house. You don't bark at them. What is the part? Why? Don't forget the oil truck. Mm-hmm. No, they are definitely a threat. The only reason they don't come towards the house is because we're barking at them. So if you don't bark at them, who's going to? <sighs> okay, number two. Any person walking down the street. Uh, it may appear that they are not walking towards the house, but the only reason, again, that they don't is because they realize we're here and we're barking. It's the barking that prevents them. So if we don't bark, they're going to be all over this place like flies. Threat number three, other dogs in the neighborhood. Listen, just bark at them, okay? That's your job. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, South Avenue. And uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down.